Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about polynomial division. So we previously considered this polynomial f of x equals x to the third plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 14. And we discussed the fact that x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial because the point 2, 0 is an x-intercept for the graph of this polynomial. And what we want to do is find the coordinates of those two points, which means we want to find all of the solutions to this equation, where f of x equals 0. And we want to find them exactly. And we're going to use the factor, the knowledge that x minus 2 is a factor, to find what x minus 2 must be multiplied by in order to get x to the third plus x, 4x squared minus 5x minus 14. In other words, what will be the result when we divide x minus 2 into this polynomial? Now, this means we have to remember how to do polynomial division. And we carry out polynomial division in much the same way as long division using numbers. So let's talk through how we do this with polynomials. We're going to set up long division, x minus 2, and we're going to divide, it goes on the outside. We're going to put in our division symbol. And then we put inside what we are dividing into. And now we compare x to x to the third. And we ask ourselves, what do I need to multiply so we're asking what would I multiply by x to get x to the third and the answer, of course, would be x squared because x squared times x equals x to the third. OK. OK. So now what do I do? Well, now I take x squared and multiply by x minus 2. In other words, I take whatever I wrote down here and I multiply it by everything that I'm dividing by. And x squared times x minus 2 is x squared minus 2x. And that's what, then we put that, sorry, that's wrong, x to the third. Minus 2x squared. And we write that down below what we are dividing into. Now, at this point, we remember when we are using numbers, we subtract. But subtraction is kind of hard with polynomials, so we can just change both of these signs so that we are adding. So x to the third plus negative x to the third is 0x to the third. That's good. That's what we want. And 4x squared plus 2x squared is 6 x squared. And now we just bring down the next term. And at this point we ask, we compare the x to the 6x squared. And we ask, what would we need to multiply by x to get 6x squared? And we know that x times 6x would give us 6x squared. So we write 6x on the top of our division sign. And now we multiply the 6x times the x minus 2 
and that gives us 6x squared minus 12x. And so we're going to subtract 6x squared minus 12x. So I just wrote that down with both signs reversed so that now I can add instead of subtract. 6x squared plus negative 6x squared is 0x squared. That's good. That's what we want. Now, 5x plus 12x is 7x. Bring down the 14. And when we compare x to 7x, we know that if I multiply 7 times x, I get 7x. So the next term in my quotient is 7. And now I multiply that through, and I can do that one without writing it down. I can just multiply that through. So that is 7x minus 14. But I remember to reverse the sign so that I can add instead of subtract. And I get a remainder of 0. Now this remainder of 0 is important. This is my remainder, the remainder of my division. And a remainder of 0 indicates that the divisor, so what we are dividing by, is a factor of what we are dividing into, or the dividend. So what this zero does is it verifies for us that what we already knew. We already knew that x minus 2 is a factor, but getting a remainder of zero verifies that. So, so what? What does this all mean to us? Well, this means that my, my function, my f of x, that was x to the third plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 14, can be rewritten as x minus 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 7. Now you may be thinking, well, how does that help? So remember what we're trying to do. We're trying to find the x-coordinates of these two points. Now the x-coordinates of those two points are also solutions to this equation that x to the third plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals 0. So what have we done? Well, we used polynomial division to find a second factor of our function, our polynomial function, because what we're wanting to do is solve find all the solutions to f of x equals 0, which means we're solving x minus 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 17 equals 0. Now we'll remember from previous work that if two things are multiplied together to equal 0, that means that those two, one of those two things needs to equal 0. Whoops, I am sorry. That should not be 17. That should be a 7. So we already knew the first one. We already knew x minus 2 equals 0 because that's where we got x equals 2 from. Or actually, we got the x minus 2 from the x-intercept of 2, which means we already knew that 2 was a solution to this equation. But let's try this one. Well, that's quadratic. We could factor it if it would factor. Now, this one won't factor. So our backup when it won't factor is the quadratic formula. And remember that we can apply the quadratic formula when we've got a quadratic, so a polynomial of degree 2, equals 0. And in this case, then we know that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root 
of b squared minus 4ac all over 0. This, oops, sorry, not over 0, never over 0, over 2a. This will always be the solution to an ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So applying this formula to this quadratic, we can find that x is going to be negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 7 all over 2 times 1. Because in this case, my polynomial is x squared plus 6x plus 7. So I know that a equals 1, b equals 6, and c equals 7. So let's do a little number crunching here. Six squared minus four times seven is eight. So my x is negative six plus or minus the square root of eight all over two. Now eight, eight is four times two. So that means the square root of 8 is equal to the square root of 4 times 2, which is the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Now, square root 4 is 2, so that's 2 square root 2. So this tells me that x is equal to negative 6 plus 2 square root 2 over 2, or x equals negative 6 minus 2 square root 2 over 2. So we'll simplify this to negative 3 plus square root 2 or negative 3 minus square root 2. Okay, so now let's put it all together. These are zeros, so let's put this all together. My function, x to the third plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 14. I know now that I have zeros of 2, negative 3, plus square root 2, and negative 3 minus square root 2. This tells me that I have factors of x minus 2, x minus negative 3 plus square root 2, and x minus negative 3 minus square root 2. Which tells me that my function can be rewritten as x minus 2 times x, I'm going to distribute that minus sign, plus 3 minus square root 2 times x plus 3 plus square root 2 which also tells me now that the coordinates of my x-intercepts are, this one I already knew, 2, 0. This one is negative 3 plus square root 2, 0. And this one is negative 3 minus square root 2, 0. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I will do one more video working on polynomial division. I'll see you again soon.